the bomber's weapon dot com guy again. I was just thinking more about why wouldn't terrorists be around to bomb America on nine eleven when our American government has fucked up the whole planet. We are slaughtering people all over the planet. We have weapons to invade anybody. It's kind of like we will go into a bee's nest and disturb all the bees that get angry that we're forcing our bullshit. We're going around tampering with their stuff. We're getting into their stuff. Don't you think that's a reason that the terrorists would want to bomb us? They're not real terrorists either. That's just what we... We're sold that image by the our government so that we're afraid. Oh, terrorists. God, we got to go do something to stop the terrorism. Oh, my God. The government gets away with whatever they do after that. Because they're, they're actually... So they're fabricating this image that there's terrorists and that our government's innocent and the American people aren't doing nothing to cause it. Um... There's a lot of truth in this. You can look at how we went. We we basically fund and arm these people in other countries. And we're over there. There's other things going on. So that's showing that there's we're interfering with the natural balance of the world. And we're the ones causing these events to happen. And so... So... And then when we're having armed conflicts with them and we're screwing them over... And we're just, and they they get wise to it. See, the rest of the world is wise to it, and then they, you know, the public here in America though, absolutely do not know that it's our government doing all this, and that there's legit reasons that people are angry at us. <clears throat> I can also imagine these people in different parts of the world just having invasions of their minds and. Torture sessions by the CIA and secret DOD. What they're doing offshore, it's they're doing it onshore here in America. Damn, it's going on over there too. It's like I can imagine these people wanting to rise up and just bomb America. I just, I just think it's justice. It's about them seeking justice to shut down a monster. That's what they want to do to get back at a monster. And I know what monster we're dealing with because I dealt with it. I'm an American. I'm just a. I'm just a kid. When they targeted me and they tried to murder me and they used their most advanced weapons to do it. Okay. So I know how sick and fucked up they are, and then I know how far spread the problem is. How many victims, innocent victims, over decades they are. Because I went to. I went into the most classified and censored programs. I went and looked at all these old programs. I traced the fucking history of this shit. I looked at CoinTelPro. I looked at MK Ultra. I looked at the shit our senators and congressmen said and did. I looked at the, the danger on American soil. I looked at the stories. I realized that this is not a story. It's real life. And the people were being fucked and tortured and targeted everywhere. And there were covert actions all over the place. And then I, I realized that, hey, I guess it ain't, no, just Sesame Street anymore, you know? And that there was danger all around and it was hidden by our fucking TV and our fucking mainstream media. And our own government that just... They can't say a fucking word about it because they know the system has to be protected. Otherwise, everyone's going to go lose everything they've been working. That you, know, you got crops of people programmed to, th to believe something. They don't want to ruin the program, okay? It's called psychological warfare. It's war worldview warfare. Germans had it. We got it. Everything is about keeping shit Secret, so people obey and do whatever the government wants. 
<clears throat> so I saw that there were hundreds of thousands of MK Ultra victims, people who were innocently slaughtered for no purpose, no gain, no technological development that was worthwhile. And that there are people, there are some of these things were not even experiments. It's covering up abuse of targets on American soil, live operations in MK Ultra and COINTELPRO. Um, it's sick what you learn. Who was targeted? Civil rights leaders, media people, lawyers, tip everyday citizens on the streets, entire towns, populations. They're, they're working on the level where they control the population and each city separately, isolated, down to the neighborhood level. They fucking control the prison system. They control the fucking police. The police are administering it, taught to shoot to kill because uh, they, they, they don't see value in keeping people alive. And uh, better not let the public rise up and weaponize and, you know... Don't let that person be alarmed to tell their side of the story either. And then you have... <clears throat> what else? Oh, weather control. By the way, Dr. Michio Kaku. CBS in 2013. When this guy talks, he's one of their oldest physicists. One of their most supreme ones. And you look at it, from the 80s and the 90s, he did interviews. Very smart man. He was working on Ronald Reagan's, uh, some of their most bestest weapons. N nukes, more powerful than, and then they also had direct energy. And then they're working on weather control. And they're working on brain tampering crap. And Michio Kaku is talking about how, you know, he's working on this. And I saw this interview. Anyway, one of their most supreme uh, physicists. Uh, and then when, so when he speaks, though, and when he talks, he also talks about peace a lot. And he's sometimes outspoken. Some, But I wonder about censorship because this guy is involved in, and he knows about all our most advanced stuff. And... When he doesn't tell the public everything, well, he's helping to cover it up. Um, <laughs> but he's, he wrote a book called Future of the Mind. It talks about some of this remote brain tampering stuff. And then he talks about everything that's coming out. so wonderful. We're already there today. He says, it's here now. We are deco we've decoded the brain. It's understood. There's going to be all sorts of fanciful this and that. And the, the people... He, he, everyone else, I like, re, you know, it's re, they're retarded. They don't, they're, this is dangerous shit, though, because it's, it's hard. It's fully understood. It's fully developed. And they're just like, they're, they're the sheep for slaughter. They don't even get it. And that this is dangerous crap. It's as if there, there's a God out there and the God is Department of Defense and the, the goddamn fucking government. They've developed powers that, Cannot be distinguished from what a god can do. Brain tampering. Weather manipulation on the whole planet. Uh, anyway. So he was on CBS So Last year. This is before his book. The Future of the Mind. Um, he's talking about. Yes it's here. We have a trillion watt laser. And, and this is just one of their methods. They've been doing this since the 60s. And before. Okay. And so. Now there's a trillion watt laser. To make rain and lightning. And so there's a video on my site, by the way. There's been footage of them capturing storms and stuff, messing with tornadoes, creation of tornadoes, and lightning. And there's satellites up there involved in this too. They just bring down lightning. Boom! It's a satellite that just, boom! Creates the fucking lightning bolt. Boom! Creates the tornado. Um, and they're, they've been messing with it. They got it. They've been using it. So when Mishio Kaku gets on the goddamn TV and says trillion watt laser, boom, you're, you're able to do all this stuff. It's confirmed. That video where this woman's talking about it and she's got, and they've got videos of the clouds being stirred and messed with. They've got technology, ground and space-based crap where they're controlling the clouds and they're heating the clouds and they're messing with 
the atmosphere and um there's also chemtrails and shit and now you know everything in the video <laughs> on like the harp type arrays there's 25 of them on the fucking ground huge interferometers is what they're called our government has more of them than any other government and they're used big Big ass things to mess with the atmosphere and direct signals. They bounce radiation off the sky into a person too. And they do bounce things into planes. They knock out a plane. You can knock out a car on the ground. You can you can do a lot. Image a, a whole home or a town of people. Spy on people. You can detect, you know, there's a missile moving over here. You can do a lot of things. Got a lot of purposes. Um, when Michio Kaku says, though, when the weather control... Is where he is saying it in that in his CBS interview. That's when you know it's all fucking real, and the public's getting duped. And the reason they're getting duped is because, well, there's a lot of reasons. All oh, the government doesn't want people to think they have an expectation to be able to control the weather. They don't want people to know that certain things have been done. There's the criminality aspects. There's what they've done to damage the planet. Use it as warfare. Um, use it to hurt their own population. That's something that they don't want anyone to know. And he, they even go into some of this. You know, it's been used. It's, we've used it to create tsunamis and stuff. And um, It penetrates the whole ocean if they want to. It's used for ship and submarine communications. It's used to... to if you're in a, a mountain, it can penetrate the whole mountain... And get to you in a cave. So they scan you. And they can do other things to you. Hurt you with radiation too. And it's that precise. And it's a computerized system. They've got it. It's all automated. And whatever they want to do with it. They're doing it. And it's all over. There's thousands of people. That are actually. Victims of it. And they make people run around sounding crazy because they're always trying to get help. And they're never given time to even sit and recover from their torture and abuse. Just all day, all night. Because it's being used on people too. It's not just the weather. It's not just the environment. It's not for our protection. It's because there's a new world order of dangerous people. And they're above us. And they are rich and powerful, and there's nothing protecting us. And this brings me to the Space Preservation Act. Everything in that bill was, that bill was to ban these particle beam weapons, these lasers, these electromagnetic weapons, the space, land, and sea capability, affecting people's mental health, torturing, killing people, giving them cancer, affect, you know, that's what the bill was saying. It said it right there. Psychotronic weapons, information weapons, and other types of weapons. Banned by that bill, but it was killed. Dennis Kushnitz wrote that bill up. How did he write it up, by the way? Because everybody knows these things are there. Here Dennis Kushnitz is. Oh, well, let's ban these things. <laughs> he comes out with the bill, and then the DOD said, Nope, Ex unfavorable. Executive comment is made by them. Boom. Because they wanted to keep it. Keep all the weapons. Keep it all going. Prevent the president from, you know, being forced by the bill to uh, protect people from this by issuing and going out and establishing peaceful uh, treaties with other countries and stuff that they would have done with that bill. That's what the bill instructs people. It was killed, never voted on. All these congressmen and senators, they all know it's real. Er, no, we're not going to pass this, man. We better keep it all hush hush. We're going to kill the public and keep doing what we're doing. We're going to keep this going. Mishukaku talks about some of this mind invasive. They basically take out memories, put in memories. That's how advanced it is now. And they know what you're thinking. They know what you're not thinking. They know what you're trying to suppress because they're, they, everything your brain tries to do can be read. It's not a secret anymore. 
what it tries to do and what you conjure up in your imagination, what's subconsciously going on, your pulse, your heart rate, your vital signs, it's all open, your dreams, God, your memory from childhood, the first time you ever walked into a building, they know that first memory. Even though you've been there a hundred times, they go to that original memory and they pull up the feelings you had. And they got it all. The technology just decodes these signals to whatever they wanted. I mean, to exactly what it was. So they basically uh, got a computer model. Once it's duplicated in the computer, they got a computer model of your original state of mentality and feeling and existence, the environment. The way everything felt and looked and was and what you were thinking and feeling, your intentions and inhibitions and everything. And did you just come from Starbucks and did you have a plan to to do something or were you there to secretly infiltrate the place? Yeah, it's all there. Were you there to try to expose government for crime? You're like a whistleblower and you're trying to get into the government to, to find out the secrets of what they're doing to abuse people? They know. So they're scanning everyone with this type of stuff these days so that's why it's hard to infiltrate the government people like Snowden didn't get anything Russ Tice knew a lot of stuff Dr. Robert Duncan knew a lot of stuff but you notice there's very few of these people coming forward well that's because they they pick who they're going to let in very selectively violent people people who also would lose a lot if it was exposed usually like so, there's this huge incentive. Um, maybe they 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 th they get a lot of power trip out of this stuff. So people at, at the state hospital, they're a very powerful union. They they had access to this while I was there, and they still do. They're using it on the patients in secret. It's classified, and they know that no. Basically, they've committed a lot of crimes with it. You know, boom, big force there to keep it under wraps. And so you've got a lot of people that would be involved at a lot of different levels, not even just the state hospital. You go out to, you know, the boards and the directors and the Congress in Oregon and the police who are all involved and everyone's involved and the U.S. attorneys and the DOJ. And you end up having a corrupt system that um, it's just pr protected so freaking well. And they all protecting each other. And so you're not going to... As a victim, you, you make a complaint. You're not lodging it with someone who doesn't know how to help you. You're lodging it with someone who wants to see you dead and doesn't want any of this exposed. That's the level it's on in America. So they can run a whole big secret operation and do it like that. And their government spies are who you're dealing with. That's just, oh, fuck. Um, I just can't believe how many times I've I had to feel like I was going to die. How many times I've attempted to hurt. How many times I've been traumatized. How many injuries I had, like, all day. And, when, and then I think back to how good my brain was when I was tw 19, 18. How much I lost because of them. And th there's no there's no possibility of restoring it. It's like taking everything and then smashing it and r ruining it. Running over the pathways in your brain, smashing the pathways. The only part of what I got left. 20, you know, 10 not even 10%. It's not even a percentage. It's like everything 100% gone. And there's a small amount that's trying to come back. It's just fraction of my old self and I'm just a fucking zombie walking around dead there's no purpose to what they do because this is what they do they turn people that they want to see turned into this shit it's all by design they control who succeeds and who who doesn't and they grow crops of weak infantile retarded rejects they have towns full of rejected pieces of shit people that they don't want to uprise and they grew them so they wouldn't even have the skill to. 
You don't even have an army. Who's the army that's going to protect you to arm yourself to go defend yourself from this? There isn't one. They're going to shut you down and shoot you dead. So anyone who wants to stand out against this in America, there's a standing army in place right now. You're not going to stand out against what they're trying to do and what they're doing and what they've done. I've saw it, and I, I was I saw police officers looking the, the way they every protest and every civil thing going on. There's nothing we can do. It's all and all the good juicy details are hidden, man, covered up. But the details are out there. You just gotta pay attention. When the details like. Michio Kaku coming out just one time. It's all you fucking need. And you look for the experts, the insiders who do tell you. And you look at the patents and you realize, holy shit, this has always been there. The earliest mind invasive patent. Fully read and alter brainwaves with military satellites and radar was from 1974? Fuck. And they had other methods of just hurting people with radiation, too, before that. And they, you know, and they they were able to beam at least words and voices into people's heads and CIA projects. And they're investigating this and sub-project 119 and MK Ultra, And they're looking at all this shit. And they, they, they fucking had devices. Okay, here's what I want to say. People... Rap, who are given lots of money, unlimited budgets, rapidly develop stuff. Where is all the stuff they developed? It's all hidden, isn't it? Well, now you know some of the stuff that they developed and hidden. is it, Endless amounts of technology and devices. From handhelds to satellites to fucking s- stuff they can put in their car. To stuff they can fit inside, you know, buildings. To, to stuff that's all over the place, dude. Everywhere. To weapons. To little peace shooter psychotronic weapons and lasers. To, to, to fucking... I mean... To uh, one thing's called the... To counter... Lots of countermeasures. To little bugs. To small cameras. To little devices they can just throw on your lawn. Put in your water. Put in your fucking sewer. You know, to robots, <laughs> to fucking, <laughs> I mean, they got a lot of shit. Oh, to local, like, they have this, I saw this stuff the Navy was testing recently. It's like, it was a huge um, array. They have three of them. They try, so they have three around you, and they position those around the person, and then they could, you fire off radiation from these three platforms all around wherever you were. <laughs> um, to active denial system to a weapon that with trillions and trillions of watts they take out the World Trade Center on 9-11 That's Dr. J.D. Wood documented that that's actually real go look at her website drjudywood.com just does to fire the building and the people inside were being fried with microwaves and radiation and they wanted to they were panicking and made them jump out the windows, they take off their clothes and stuff. And more, you know, there's more. Destroy the buildings that weren't even hit by the plane. Just dustify, just those buildings. No damage to the buildings around. You know, they, because very focused energy, only hitting the World Trade Center. Toasted cars. That's the, you know, melted beams, you know. And it, was, it was all done with radiation. Directed energy. I'd like to see anyone do another forensic investigation on that. Because I, don't, I think if they started off trying to see if it was directed energy, they'd probably find out it was. And they probably couldn't prove it wasn't. So this is happening all around us. They got the ability to do it. Maybe they want to knock out another senator's airplane too if he gets too close to it. He's really... Pushing it. Oh, all right. Well, let's just knock out Senator Paul Wildstone's plane. 
how about knock out another Malaysian airliner and act like, oh, nobody knows what's happening, where it is, and no, no one's, where's the black box at? <laughs> yeah, and they already knew the whole time. Oh, all the black boxes from 9-11. Uh, let's act like we couldn't find them. Yet. And they're all sitting there in their custody. That's the way they work. They're all sitting there in their custody. I was watching a lot of people know about that. There's some people on Ground Zero who know about that. That's some corrupt shit. So all the black boxes were located and our government still saying they don't have them. That's the way they work. Oh, did that person just get murdered? Oh, it was a suicide. <laughs> suicide. The FBI comes in, sweeps in like America's hidden army to cover it up, to, to, to propagate the message for the American government. Was this vic Did this victim just try to... Sh did he just shoot 12 people when we were victimizing him? Oh, he was delusional. His delusional belief. It wasn't that he was being victimized by us. Man, who's going to investigate and expose us someday? That's what happened with Aaron Alexis, dude. He, he's talking about something real, legit, total, totally legit and real. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God, the FBI, dude, they're so good at lying and scheming. Man, they got brain link. The FBI's got it. They see, they want to know what's inside your house. They got radar. They got brain link. They're out there. They show up at your house. They're all like secretly. They've been watching what's been going on in your house for a while before they show up, man. And they're communicating brain to brain. You know how this works? It's not actually brain to brain, it's a technological device. It actually is monitoring everyone's brain, and then it will pass in a signal using uh, my, some my radiation, like direct energy. Boom! Manipulates the nerves and brain, bypassing the eyes, ears, or whatever, and boom! And they can link together, because that damn device is, is allowing them to do it, and it can't be traced. The public's still looking at the old methods of communicating by phone and by radio. And there's no way to intercept these signals that are that are really complex. You need to have the right kind of decoder and imaging technology just to read the signals. It's such a complex thing. So it lets them do it all in stealth. It, and it's 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 happening at the state hospital. The staff have used this. They've actually done more than one targeting to one patient too. Linking brains. Messing with their brains. Setting people. Killing them. Did that guy just have a heart attack? It's, he was causing problems. So the staff killed him. They have that ability. It, just get rid of them. <laughs> no one wants to deal with them. So that's what they do. Are we at risk for exposure? Because he knows. Did, did he find out something? Has he been here the whole time? Put, giving us shit? And he's been, because he's been wise to it, you know, and then they'll, they'll cover, they'll do a lot of things on purpose to cover it up. Like, uh, my friend Tommy Smith, or even uh, Chris Crawford. I mean, I've been watching this. I've known, I've suspected, I, I was really, I really felt scared. I realized that they were doing this. When, when you find out the staff are doing something and, uh, you know, then you frame the, the, the person who finds out to look like schizophrenic and do a lot of other things. And then it'll kill the patient off. He just suddenly perishes after he just found out. It's fucking not a conspiracy. You just have to see for what it is. It's a dangerous world. And they're doing it. That's the way it is. They legitly just kill him. Make it look natural, like it was a heart attack. Some 
or, you know, stress or whatever they come up with. They frame it, frame them. <laughs> yeah, they'll do that. They'll kill two or three patients if they have to. They'll get rid of them. It's not a fair world. There's nothing protecting people from it. There is no lawsuit filing. There is no freaking getting help. There is no walking away, uh, getting a reward for your injustice, or getting something investigated and getting a release. There's nothing like that. The world ain't some fair place. They're really just locking everything down. They're preventing things from happening preventing exposure and it, this lets them grow and prosper and do all the evil things they do 